Hi, it's Camille here. Uh, today in this video I'd like to tell you um, how you can get more freedom in your life. Um, getting more freedom and, and more self-expression, and as some people say, I think saying self-expression is a very good way of describing that, um, is a very simple process, however very lengthy. You need to look at certain uh, events in your life uh, that have caused you to be in a certain way. So, for example, where do you experience loss of power? Loss of power means a situation where you do not really feel yourself, you feel uncomfortable, uh, you feel like, uh, I don't know, stressed, uh, you have no control over what's happening, you cannot focus on what the other person is saying. So, for example, let's say you might experience loss of power when, when you talk to a woman and she's, for example, your boss and, and she tells you to do something in, in a certain way. And then you think, oh my God, what, what have I done? Or no, not again, she's, she's being uh, you know, upset or something like this. And, <clears throat> and then you feel like really disconnected from the situation. So this is an example of a loss of power. You, you might have a loss of power in, in many situations with your parents, sisters, brothers, friends. Or when someone says something in a certain way, when someone does a face, some, some kind of a facial expression, and you, so, somehow you feel really strange, weird, bad, you don't know really why. Logically, it shouldn't be happening, but it is happening, you feel really bad. So you need to have a look at what, what is it, who are you in that situation? And you might want to look back and, and think, okay, maybe I am a five-year-old version of me when I had this conversation with my father and he said this, and, and then my mother said that, and then I was scared or then I was afraid. So are you being that five-year-old or, or eight-year-old or 15-year-old who had this situation? You know, it can be something small, an event in your life that seems not very significant, but had a really big impact and you didn't even realize. So now have a look at that. So, um, another way of discovering it is um, looking at where are what people do you have... Um, so-called undelivered communication uh, with. So let's say something happened, you were angry with somebody or you, or you wanted to acknowledge somebody and you haven't done it. So you need to have a look, okay, uh, or who annoys you regularly and, and you haven't told them or you haven't told them enough or you haven't been completely straight with someone, you, you had an argument with somebody, then you talked about this and things were kind of um, sorted out, explained, but really not completely. So you need to have a look at those and simply start completing, so to say, those conversations of finishing those conversations, taking them to a completion, to a full end. So you can write an email to somebody and say, look, I realized, you know, we had this argument and, and we discussed that. However, there is one more thing still on my mind. I'm still not entirely happy with what happened. And can we talk about this more? Or I would like to apologize for, for not telling you that straight away five years ago. I've been still, you know, thinking about this, so I need to tell you right now. Or you can, the best thing is obviously to call the person, or even better, meet them face to face and, and just have a, you know, frank conversation without blaming anyone, just saying, look, I realize that maybe I have said something that, that upset you and, and now I just would like to apologize for this again. Or, uh, you know what, what you said at that time, you know, I found it really annoying and I was really angry with you and, and you know, I just like, would like to tell you that, you know, because I've been angry at you, I have been behaving towards you in, in that way. And, you know, I don't really want to be angry with you, so can we talk about this? And that's how you do it. Uh, and that gives you a lot of freedom in your life. You become freer and freer to, to express yourself, to be yourself to feel comfortable in, in, in as many situations as possible. And, and that work takes a long time. It's not going to, you know, it's not like you for one week you will deliver all the communication to all the people uh, that you thought and it, you will, will be sorted and free forever. No, it, it, it's a lifelong process. But there are some major breakthroughs that will suddenly change your life completely. There will be a big shift. And you know, don't worry if you have breakdowns and it's really difficult to deliver that communication because people have lots of, you know, like serious issues. People who, who have abused them in the past quite a lot, you know, and it's still something they need to deal with. And, and if you leave it just because it's really ugly and terrible, it will haunt you to the end of your life. So what you need to do, you simply need to contact that person and, and complete the communication. Even just, you know, forgive yourself, forgive them and say, okay, Look, you've done really bad things to me 
and and you know I forgive you or I find it really difficult to forgive you the best thing is obviously to forgive that person and forgive yourself first of all um, you know because if you don't forgive them you know it, it doesn't make any difference to, to the world actually it, it makes so that no difference to that person and it makes no difference to you it's even worse if, if you are really angry with someone or bear a grudge against somebody, you know, it's like if you're drinking a person, uh, sorry, a poison, hoping that this person will, will be affected. Now, if, you're, if you are angry, you know, you are affected. That person doesn't really care. Maybe if you, you know, shout some abuse at them for a moment and that's it. And then later on they walk away and they live their lives like, you know, no, nothing happened. While you, being angry, bearing a grudge against somebody, you know, you are drinking the poison. So just, you know, forgive yourself, forgive that person, get complete, talk to them, or, or send them a letter at least. Even if they are not alive anymore, write a letter. It really makes a huge difference. If you haven't done it, you don't know how huge difference it makes if you write a letter to the person who's already dead. If the person is alive, that's even better. Yeah, obviously. But just write the letter, send them an email, call them, have a conversation. You need to complete, uh, you know, all things like this, even small things, I don't know, something that it, it's insignificant with your neighbor, but if you've done it with 10, 20 people, it all adds up and, you know, and you can feel it. You don't know what that is, but you're not really yourself. You're not free. You're not fully self-expressed. So please make a list of 10 most important um, undelivered communication situations in your life right now or write the, na uh, the names of the people and just start completing those things. Do five at least, but I encourage you to do ten. And I can assure you that there are lots of them. You might think that there are, there are only two, three or five, but there are lots of them. So make five or ten if you can. Complete those conversations. Come back to me, make, make a comment under the video and, and, you know, let's become free. I've been doing this for, for the last, I don't know, a year, two maybe maybe longer and especially recently I've been doing this quite intensively and it made huge difference to my life and huge difference to other people uh, that have been doing this as well. So I really encourage you and invite you to do that. Will you? Please do it. You know, it makes the difference to the whole world. It makes a difference to me, to you and to all people around you. It has a big, how you feel, it makes a big impact not only on yourself but on all people around you, all people you interact with. And you do make a difference in the world. So start from delivering the communication to all those people that matter to you in one way or another. Okay? Thank you. See you in the next video.